Hello! Happy Easter! Second Easter day. Is that actually a universal thing? I don't know. Or is that only in Europe that there's a second day of Easter? Which is also a holiday. The Monday. Anyway, we're here. And we're here to draw. <laughs> At least I am. I don't know what you're doing here. Are you just watching me draw? Or are you actually drawing along with me? Um, I really hope that you're drawing along with me. That's what these 15 minute drawing parties uh, are meant to be. Like a little push for you to draw together with me. And um, I'm really happy to see that lots of you are already joining. And I also got um, a, uh, an answer from Schnabelita, who says only in some places there's um, <clears throat> a second day of Easter, which is also an official holiday like it is in the Netherlands and many European countries. So uh, whether you are uh, working at home or you have a day off or whatever, just take these 15 minutes just for you. Um, because it's so important to be creative, just have some fun. Don't expect too much of yourself. Just really enjoy the process of being creative and of drawing. Um, so that's what I do during these 15 minute parties. Um, and today I actually have uh, collected a lot of color. I have colored pencils, crayons, some watercolor. I don't know what I'm going to use of it, but I just all have it here so I can grab it if I need it. And I wanted today with you, I wanted to, um, Oh, look at that. There's someone from Australia. It's bedtime. I hope you can keep it up. Just 15 minutes. Stay up and uh, make something. You will f sleep like a baby after that. <laughs> and there's Hans Christian. Hi. Good, good that you're here. Monique from Rotterdam. I saw someone from Amsterdam. So we're here from all over the world. That is fantastic. Lots of people for, from Germany too. Anyway, um, grab color colored pencils, watercolor, whatever you like to color with, or maybe everything at the same time. I also have a few of those <clears throat> super fat pencils that I really feel like using. Um, they are kind of greasy, but you can also add a little bit of uh, water and then uh, it, the color uh, dilutes. So I'm just going to play. So let's play today. Let's not worry about the exact thing that we're drawing, although I am going to draw something just to look at and then translate it into my color play. And it's actually this. These are my fake flowers. I've had these for a year or so and they are always so beautiful and bright and I love the colors. So I thought I would just um, grab something colorful and uh, I drew them the other day as well using watercolor. I can show you. Um, I drew them, first I did um, uh, the, the watercolor and then I used um, a black uh, Pentel pocket brush on top. And um, that's always the thing, you know, deciding to leave those and not put any black line on that, that was a good decision because it gives so much depth and also focus to these bits. So even though I have drawn these uh, flowers quite a few times, every time I discover something new, either about the flowers or about the technique that you can use. So today I wanna to do that too. Maybe you have something super colorful close by that you can take a look at and uh, then choose your colors and get drawing. All right, it's great to see all these people, people from Wisconsin, Istanbul, Illinois, um, London, Stuttgart, Ohio, Belgium, Brazil, Malaysia. Oh, this is fantastic. New York, India. I see someone from, someone from Poland, someone else from the Netherlands. 
Fantastic that you're all here. I'm really happy that um, Philadelphia, North Carolina, everybody's just <laughs> Toronto. I could do this the whole day, but I think I'll just start drawing. Okay, one more. France. Good. Um, so grab something colorful, grab your colors, anything that is that you can work with or want to work with today. And uh, let's start drawing. Enough talking. Well, there is my ceiling again. Isn't it lovely? There we are. See how much colors I have grabbed and surrounded myself with. Um, there we go. I think that should work. Kind of. So I have um, colored pencils, thicker colored pencils. These are there are wax wax crayons actually in they look like a pencil but they are basically wax crayons um uh, these are neo color um uh what's it called again um i just forgot i just lost my uh my words so instead of talking i'm just gonna draw um crayons <laughs> right if you are making something, and I really, really hope you are drawing along with me, then share what you make with the hashtag SBS Drawing Party. I can't keep up with everything, though. That's what I have discovered. That it's really hard to, uh, to, to find everyone's art and to see it, but I try to heart as much as I can because I want to follow, too. It's just a lot of fun. Okay. Um... So my subject for today are, and the great thing is, they are fake, so I can just, you know, grab the whole vase and show it to you again, are these flowers. And um, I'll be um, looking at them, but basically it's more about filling this last page of my accordion sketchbook with lots of color. That's my goal. So um, let's do that. I'll zoom in a little. Here we go. Um, I might start with the yellow or I might actually start with that big fat woody pencil that I just mentioned. I mean, I've been eyeing it all weekend and I haven't used it, so I should. I just should pick it up now and use it. Let's go. Okay, I will start with that really big red flower in the middle and I'll see what happens from there. And I'm not going to try and make it look exactly like the real thing. I'm just going to play with shape and especially I want to play with color. And I really like the feeling of the, the it's a greasy kind of feeling of this, uh, of this uh, pencil. And let's also add a little bit of red here because color of the flower is actually red and it is kind of layered so maybe what I do is just add a little bit of marks to indicate you know the um, the texture of those leaves those beautifully nice smelling flowers they smell like fabric, I can tell you that. Um, so you, you can dilute this with water and I want to try it. I have no idea what the result will be, but oh, there was still a little bit of yellow um, watercolor on there, which is fine. I'll just clean my brush. There we go. See? how that orange dilutes and then the red pencil doesn't dilute. I like it. And I do want to keep that fat line, but I can actually really paint with the, with the thicker paint that it gives. Okay. 
thought I was well prepared, but I forgot to bring cloth inside of this room. So I'll have to do without. Okay, I don't want to overwork this. This is my first flower. And you, you know, I usually don't really enjoy drawing flowers at all. Which is strange, maybe, that I'm drawing a flower now. But, um, I don't know. Um, those flowers just have a fantastic color palette. I like the red and the... Um, uh, Sorry, I'm I'm just trying to find the right colors. I feel like I'm missing some bits and pieces, but it doesn't matter. I actually need a darker color because there's a uh, oh, I need a brown. I'll use this one. Oh, that doesn't really work because it's half wet, of course. This is always the case if you um, do some experimentation and then film it. Of course, it won't work out the way you want it to, <laughs> but that's okay. Um, I'm having fun anyway. Maybe I can also have a little bit of this, see what happens. I'm overworking this. I'm going to add another um, shape. So there's one in the back here. And that's the thing, you know, um, just before these live streams, I think of what I want to do. So it's not like a well-prepared lesson or anything. No, I'm just here to draw with all of you. And um, I'll just do whatever feels right. But sometimes I just don't think it through that well. And then I run into trouble during the live stream. But actually, I kind of like that extra sort of challenge. You know, you need to work your way out of the trouble that you work yourself into and um, isn't that exactly what um, drawing is about you find creative problems to solve isn't creativity just exactly um, solving a problem if there weren't any problems to solve what was the fun of it all Okay, I think I will, this is nice. I should leave that. The only thing that I want to add is a little bit of um, green because it will stand out. Oh yes, that is nice and contrasty. Good. Um, maybe I can add a little bit of that red to this flower as well. Yep, I think that works. And there's in the middle of that flower, there is a weird, or weird, there's a, a, a heart that is shaped like that. Yeah, I kind of like that. Okay. Maybe I should focus on the one of those yellow flowers that were there are there in there too. And they have like these nice straightforward petals basically. And maybe for this it might work to um dilute with a little bit of color because there's a little bit of a um there's orange over here in the petals and also at the end, it's just a little bit, but it's um, it's just the colors dissolve into each other a little bit. So maybe I can try create that with by adding a little bit of water. We'll see. That's a fun thing, you know. Um, I don't know about you, but I have a lot of um, art supplies 
that I don't use that often. I actually really like the uh, the marks here. So I'm, should I or should I not dilute? I will see if it works. Yeah, I think I like the marks more than the than the water. I can do a little bit of both. Best of both worlds. What do you think? I think that's fine. And I will let this dry a little bit because that made me run into trouble here. Um, try to draw on top of that and that totally indented the paper. Not that it matters, but still. Um, yes, so maybe a little bit more of that super bright green. Although in reality it isn't that bright because then you could totally tell that these are fake flowers and um, they really don't look fake at all if you see them until you get really close. I really love these flowers. That was a good investment. But um, did I actually finish my sentence? I don't know. Um, so I was saying I have a lot of art supplies that I don't use that often and um, it's a very good practice to every now and then just challenge yourself. And tell yourself, you know what, today I'm going to draw with something that is not familiar, that I'm maybe even a little bit scared of using because I don't know how. And um, you might actually surprise yourself. Sometimes what I also do, I uh, follow a lot of artists on... Um, on Instagram and then I try to mimic what they do so um, for example if I see someone who draws a lot with crayons I try to study like how exactly do they do it and then I try to mimic that and turn it into my own kind of um, style and that way we learn and then at some point, you know, you, you create your own way of using certain uh, tools, methods, and uh, that might inspire other people again. For example, I was following um, a live stream just, just now by Hans Christian, who is uh, Illu Chris, I L L U C H I, no, C H R I S, sorry. And um, he did fantastic watercolor work. And I was like, wow, that is really great, you know, using watercolors and using colored pencils. And he had these crayons there too with um, uh, the number two, which are water soluble. So those are. Um, oil pastels that are water soluble really cool also something to you know try and explore so just by f you know I I think that by watching many demos but then also taking it into practice yourself that is the best way to learn okay I am uh, kind of filling this page with colorful flowers um, I kind of regret this whole flower. I love this shape. I love that shape. This is pretty cool. Yeah, and then in the center there's something that is kind of a dud. But, you know, it happens. And then now I'm trying to, you know, kind of uh, mend the mistake, but I'm making it worse. So I'll just go on and um, draw another shape behind it to uh, feel a little bit better about it all. Another nice big red flower with a nice, whoops, green leaf here. That overlaps here. And then behind that it actually curls around to 
which of course only fake flowers can do that way. Add a little bit of red. I'm totally forgetting about the time. <laughs> and I realized that I promised 15 minutes and um, I actually have some drawing plans myself to draw the view and I'm really really um, looking forward to do that to doing that so I'm going to finish this up just by adding more yellow because I can and I think these fat Pencils are really great um, because they allow you to be a little bit more expressive, have some fun. I mean, just those fat pencils make you feel like a kid, just like crayons do. And um, I really love that effect. I mean, who doesn't want to be a kid again? Playing, no inner critic shouting at you that... That flower looks horrible. How could you even do that? Do you really think anyone will learn something from that? Do you think anyone will watch your live stream ever again? <laughs> That's what the inner critic tells you. Or me. Good. I'm done. This is a super colorful page. Um, and I'm pretty happy with it, actually. I'm not complaining at all, even though... It's a little bit funky, but funky is good. And I can't stop. Can you, can you tell? Did you notice? I just can't stop. Okay, I will stop. All right, uh, let's turn the camera back up. Did you color? Did you make a full page, full color uh, page? I um, used basically uh, orange, yellow, and red, and uh, and a little bit of green. So, um, and that is something that I have discovered using color. That sometimes, even though you have all your all the colors to your disposal, um, sometimes choosing a little bit of a limited palette actually makes more impact than trying to use all the colors that you have. So that was the lesson for today. <laughs> Two lessons. First, don't start in the middle with uh, some kind of flower when you have no idea what you're doing because then all the mistakes are made in that center of your drawing. <laughs> and number two, make it super colorful, but maybe you can just choose a few colors to make it that colorful. All right, um, I had fun. I will play some more with my colored pencils and the woodies and everything that I have here so that I'm surrounded with now. Um, also, I will clean up the mess that I made that you didn't see. And um, tomorrow I'll be here again. If this is your day off, then I hope you have a fantastic day, another day of Easter and Easter eggs. Um, and um, yes, tomorrow is... Tuesday. So there will be a Draw Tip Tuesday on the YouTube channel at Sketchbook School. And uh, I will be here again, same time, for another 15 minutes of drawing fun with you. Thank you so much for joining and um, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.